Well, hello everyone. Dwayne here with Chosen Adventures. Um, today, we're going to do something a little different. We're going to do an install. Um, this is going to be installing a rooftop antenna um, on our camper uh, for our mobile internet uh, setup. We have we currently are using a Mophie 4500 uh, modem. Um, and uh, it comes with little paddle antennas, uh, you know, that uh, work okay. Um, if you got, if you're in an area with really good signal, um, it does does okay. Uh, but I do have an external antenna that I can put up on a pole um, when we're kind of in a fringe area, and usually that uh, that'll do really good. Uh, but you know, that's it's it's fine for when we need it, but it is a good bit of work to do. So. Um, I've got another solution here for something that should work most of the time and it'll be permanent. So it's always hooked up uh, whenever you get to the campsite. Basically, uh, when the power comes on, the router and modem power up. And, uh, you know, it, in some cases I will still need to go into the back office and uh, maybe choose which tower that I want to lock on to because some of them, you know, have... Uh, have different uh, speeds and also different uh, bands as well that, that you can switch uh, just, just to get the best uh, speed. Um, so um, that's what we're going to be doing today. The past, most of the time brings me down And my future won't exist without living now So I spread all my footprints around, yeah Every day will always bring me something new. So this is the uh, rooftop antenna that I'm going to be using. This is the pointing um, brand, and it's it's this one I should say um, is omnidirectional. So you do not have to point this in any direction. You mount it on your on the top of your roof. Um, you know, probably the best, you know, for aerodynamics, you put it uh, facing, you know, into the wind um, this way when you're driving, uh, so parallel with your with your roof. The uh, other external antenna that I do have that I can put up on a pole, now that is actually directional. Uh, so it is, it's more powerful, but, um, but you do have to find the tower and point it at the tower. So um, this, this seems to be be pretty popular there's there's people out there that who are getting some really good um you know really good speeds with this so this one is actually a two in one uh mimo antenna uh two in one meaning that um it'll it, it has two capabilities of, of hooking up you know two connections for your your uh cellular antenna uh multiple in multiple out is what MIMO stands for and uh, um, this is uh, cellular only now you can get these that have also Wi-Fi GPS um, dual modem capability all that stuff but this is this is what I needed this one um, also is a 5.8 DB uh, gain in DBI uh, so 5.8 gain um, which which should help a lot uh, Hopefully this one will work, you know, 90% of the time, just those few times where we we really need to to reach out and pull in that signal, um, then we'll get the uh, we'll get the directional antenna out. Should be a pretty easy install. This you have to drill a hole of course through your through the roof of your RV. And uh, preferably you want to do this, you know, pretty close to wherever you have your um, your modem and uh, this comes with about a six, I think about a six foot cord cable and it's best to, you know, to use this, this cable and not, not with an extension. Uh, once you start putting extensions on these, you, you start having a, a significant loss in your gain. So, uh, uh, you know, it's best to, if you can, to stick with just this standard uh, length cable here. So, um, but it has an adhesive on here that, uh, that it will actually stick right to your to your roof um, and then of course we'll we'll probably go ahead and and, uh, and use some uh, some die core around it as well to uh, secure it now you can also they have an option where you can get magnets 
that screw in here and uh, you can you can uh, have it mounted magnetically if you have that capability um, it can be mounted you know with this uh, with your wires and everything going straight down through the roof uh, using 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 this here um, it also has a longer sleeve here um, as well or you can remove all this and flush mount this if you want the wires to come out come out the side and say you know maybe run along your roof um, a little ways you know to 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 another another spot where you have uh, you know maybe a hole or, or an access point for your wires so you can do it either way in my my situation I'll go ahead and and use this method so everything will be hidden and sealed nice and tight okay so this is uh, this is where I have my modem and uh, router the Mophie 4500 I've got it up here this is in the bunk room and I've got it up here on top of this cabinet um, what I did is I actually installed another receptacle up here this was not here and so I installed the receptacle up here so that I could could plug this in plus also my my uh, uh, lights that go around there the LEDs and uh, anything else that I need to put up here and this is this is the antenna coming in um, from outside whenever I hook up my directional antenna um, but otherwise these are the paddle antennas that come come with the uh, Mophie 4500 these are for cellular and then these would be the Wi-Fi um, yeah. okay so this is a speed test with the paddle antennas installed on the Mophie uh, 4500 uh, before we hook up the uh, the new omnidirectional so it looks like uh, 8.85 down and 5.73 up so that's actually pretty good for here um, it's some days it's barely hard to get two maybe three uh, down and so this would be considered a good day <laughs> okay so we're up here on the roof because I want to try to get a pretty good idea of where this thing is gonna be mounted and where the hole is gonna come through um, I'll, I'll start up from underneath and, uh, and then poke a little hole through up here and then I'll use the the uh, uh, hole bit to go down from this way but uh, I want to measure this off here and also I've got to clean this area um, with some acetone or something here to uh, to get all the the dirt and any kind of greasiness off of here so it'll stick good so that's what we're going to do here now I'm going to take some measurements and uh, figure out pretty closely where it's going to be coming through. All right, so we're about right here. So this looks like the spot, um, about right in this area, right in here. And so we should be good. We've got uh, plenty of room here, and we're not even anywhere close to the AC unit over there. So, so I think this is going to work out really well okay so this is uh this is where i have my modem and uh, router the mophie 4500 i've got it up here this is in the bunk room and I've got it up here on top of this cabinet. Um, what I did is I actually installed another receptacle up here. This was not here. And so I installed the receptacle up here so that I could, could plug this in, plus also my, my uh, uh, lights that go around there, the LEDs, and uh, anything else that I need to put up here. And this is, this is the antenna coming in um, from outside whenever I hook up my directional antenna. Um, but otherwise, these are the paddle antennas that come come with the uh, Mophie 4500. These are for cellular, and then these would be the Wi-Fi. Um, 
and uh, really works good. I'm pretty happy with it, uh, at least for our needs. Okay, so I want to go ahead and you can kind of feel where the, where the rafters are, the trusses. So I think there's one here at the seam and then, and then over here. So we've got space here. I want to check it with my stud finder just to kind of confirm. Yeah, right there's one. And then go this way. Yep, and then right there's another. So we got this space here right in between. So I'm going to try to, I guess, go ahead and drill a hole here um, using the hole saw. In this case, I'm using a one and one eighth inch bit. Um, so this is a little scary <laughs> drilling a hole into your roof, but. In the end, it should all be nice and clean and sealed. There shouldn't be any problems. And it's one of those necessary evils, I guess. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this extension on and uh, use it to go right up through there and I think I, I'm feeling the foam, foam insulation there. So the idea is to take this one up and have a little hole going out through the, right out through the roof there. A little bit tight for space here, so let me go up in there first. All right, my bit stayed up in there. Somewhere. Well, it doesn't want to come back out, so I'm going to go up on the roof and see if it's poking through. Okay, up here on the roof, and uh, sure enough, there's the little hole poked through. So, so now I know right where to drill my larger hole. Perfect. Looks good. I can see straight, straight down to the top of the cabinet there. Okay, so I've got the hole drilled there, and I cut me a one-inch piece of uh, PVC pipe that I'm going to tape, tape on here that'll actually go through the roof and stick out a little bit below in the ceiling. So uh, put some Teflon tape on there to to make this go on there tighter, and then I'm going to wrap it with some electrical tape all right so that's the front of the camper so I'm gonna mount it just like that I think that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and feed these down through there. I should be able to hopefully get it all from up here. Yep, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to give it one, one last clean. So these are the holes where you would use the magnets if you went that route. Or I think they have make some attachments um, that you can actually use those to 
those holes there to uh, to mount it that way. All right, we're gonna press on it here for maybe 30 seconds and get it nice and flatly adhered. Boy, that, that feels nice and strong. I like that. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I'm also gonna take some die core and I'm gonna go, go around this thing with some die core. There it is. Feel pretty good about that. That is nice and solid. And I believe it's sealed up as good as you can possibly seal it. So now we'll go back inside and finish up inside. Okay, so there it is. There's the uh, hole inside with the uh, PVC pipe coming through and the cable here. And obviously, got plenty of cable, so I'm going to have to kind of Kind of maybe coil this up here and maybe tape it together. Okay, so now we'll go ahead and uh, give it a test here. We've got the, the rooftop antenna all hooked up. And uh, let's, let's see what we got. Okay, so we got 11.3 down. And looks like about a little over 7 up. So definitely... Definitely a good bit of increase there. And we got to remember now we're under, underneath this here metal awning. And uh, so that does affect um, the signal here in this spot where we have the camper stored. So, um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. I really am. Um, I definitely feel, feel like this is a pretty good system for, for now, for what we, for our needs. And, uh, I'm anxious to get it out there and test it on the road um, in different spots and see how it does. So, um, but anyways, guys, thanks. I appreciate you watching. If you if you like this video, please uh, give it a thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you follow us along and be notified. Uh, if you ring the bell, you'll get notified to uh, whenever we get put out new videos. And uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, put them in the comments below or questions. I'm definitely not an expert, but uh, um, but I believe we accomplished something here that, that works. So, anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.